Thanks for standing up. Looks like we're good to go. Uh, why don't you uh, why don't you introduce yourself? I'll introduce myself and then uh, let's uh, let's set her in, huh? All right. All right. Hey everybody, Nick Friend, CEO and owner of Art Storefronts. And my name is Patrick Shanahan. I run the marketing department at Art Storefronts. Happy Saturday, everybody. Thanks for joining us for yet another live. Seems to be just what we do these days, Nick. We go live. Right. That is just what yep. we do. There's so much to talk about though, you know, like so much is going on and all the different current events with the art industry and what's being sold, what's happening, you know, how quickly people are iterating, how fast we're learning, you know, just about everything. Like it's just, I mean, we come into every day pretty much and there's just, there's just way, there's, there's an overload of things to talk about, frankly. Right. Yep. Um, so it's, it's really phenomenal. And it's, I think it's, I think it's awesome for the industry. I, I hope, uh, I hope all you guys, uh, get some, get value out of it and you like it. So anyways, I wanted to kick this off. Um, just talking about our, our Facebook live yesterday, for those of you who didn't see it, when we're done, go and check it out. It was, I don't, I, I don't think I've ever seen a company do this before, but we actually had art storefronts members. Okay. Come on a live zoom call on Facebook with non art art storefronts members so that non customers of art storefronts could ask questions you know to them and hear from them about what their experience is with our company and it's so funny because all i did as we talk about like 30 minutes beforehand we have this private uh members group for art storefronts members uh that the artists and the photographers are like you know talking to each other and with us and working in and i dropped a link in there and i said hey we're going live if anybody wants to join and give their experience to anyone, here's the link. There was no planning. There was no like deliberately asking these people to come on. It was just a total free for all. Some of the people you and I have never talked to before. There was probably two or three on there. You and I have never actually talked to them before because they're, they're in our workshops and not everybody, you know, raises their hand and wants to talk to us. A lot of people are literally just like taking notes like they're in business or marketing school you know, as we're working through stuff, which is awesome. But uh, anyway, so that happened yesterday. So you'll get a, if you, if you check that out again, it's on our Facebook. If you go to our Facebook page and you just scroll down, you're going to see the live stream from yesterday and you can watch that and see it. And I think you'll learn a lot from it. Also on Tuesday, um, we did another Facebook zoom with only non art storefronts members. And we had Reed on there. Uh, Reed's one of the um, uh, people on our outreach team. And uh, he's, he's signed up like at least like a thousand art storefronts, photographers and artists. And he ran a short demo. Like re it was really short. It was like 15 minutes or so. And then he answered a bunch of questions about pricing and details and things like that. And so that was on Tuesday. So again, if you go to our Facebook page and you scroll down our feed, watch the live one from Tuesday and you can get a whole inside look at, you know, the, the art storefronts product. Um, it's obviously not completely comprehensive because that's a longer demo, but at least to give you an idea of the proper art gallery website features and then what you get for the marketing and business consulting and what that entails, because there's so much to it. And so many people wonder like, okay, how are you going to help me get more traffic or eyeballs or anything? And like, that is actually the perfect question. That's the question you should be asking. And so it, it's, it's answered in that live. But anyways, the thing, you see the comment from Kim. I just, I was just razzing her because she's literally the only one that's online as much as we are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kim. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Kim's awesome. Uh, quickly, JMT JPEG said he's interested in working with us. How can you get started? Uh, just hit the Instagram bio in the link tree. There's a link. You can request a demo. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll reach out to you. Um, yeah, and we're running, a, we're running a, a, a big sale in May. Um, we extended it from April. We, uh, it's. It's the best deal that we've ever offered to join our storefronts. And we extended it because we got such a backlog of people in April. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's just, it's the truth. I'm literally being dead honest about it. We got completely flooded and cause everybody's trying to get online right now. I mean, that's just, and it's the smart thing to do, right? Like yeah. right now with, we've talked about this a lot, like it's America 2.0. And if you have a, an America 1.0 strategy, you're getting hurt. The next best thing you can do is, is, you know, uh, prepare yourself for America 2.0 right away and start executing. It's the number one thing that you can do. So, um, yeah, so we're running that deal right now. So request a demo. If, if you go to our website also, like if you're on Facebook or somewhere else right now, um, go to our website and in the upper right-hand corner, there's a big request a demo button. Click that, 
Uh, it takes two seconds to fill out and then somebody will reach out to you and give you the details and, and find out about you and what you're up to and what your goals are and see if you're actually a fit for what we do. Okay. But um, what, I wanted to, what I wanted to say though about yesterday's session where non-art storefronts members were able to talk to art storefronts members, like what has that ever happened? You know, like, you know, we're just opening up the book and I'm like, hey, whatever happens, happens. I mean, there could have been, there could have been like some unhappy person that I never even knew, but we care about customer experience so much. And it's like our number one metric, it's called net promoter score. It's the gold standard for measuring customer success. But we care about customer success so much that I just didn't care. You know, I'm like, you know what? If we can't do it, if we can't just be confident and just be like, hey, you know, drop a link, whoever comes on, it's just gonna be a total free for all, organic, and uh, then nobody can, right? Like that, that's, and so it happened and it was pretty awesome. So check that out. But you know what, you know what my takeaway is, Pat, from all of this is, um, is that, do you notice like, like how high of quality of people that we have in the art storefronts membership? Like just the, the, the and, and we're getting a, there's a ton of how, yeah, how awesome they are. And they're just, they're, they're just a, like a, a subset of the entire art industry. And, and when you hear them yesterday, it's like the first time that you can actually just see one after the other, after the other, after the other. And you see who they are and how they think and what they're operating on, you know what I mean? And what they're executing on and all that stuff. And, and you notice that it's just kind of an elite group of, of, of people um, and they're, they're special, you know? And the thing that I love is that as we've been talking to non-art storefronts members, you and I started doing this like two weeks ago, doing these live Zoom calls, you know? Um, and what I've noticed is that, uh, like I've just been impressed by the people that, are act that we're talking to that are looking to join and how you can just see like, you're blurring the lines between the two and you're like, hey, you're just like these people, right? And you could just, it, it, from our perspective, you can see it really easily and it's pretty cool. Yeah, let me deal, let me deal with some comments quickly. Um, Carol, wish I could have heard yesterday's podcast. Would like to hear what existing users are getting out of this. It's right on our Facebook page. All you gotta do is just go back to our Facebook page and look for the video that was posted yesterday. Um, this one, I get a floss a little bit. Um, Reynaldo says, me gustaría poder participar, pero comprendo muy poco el inglés. Um, Reynaldo, unfortunadamente, no tenemos alguien que pueda hablar español. Um, solamente yo, yo, yo puedo hablar solamente un poquito. Um, Katie Neely says, can't believe how awesome it is working with you guys. Yeah, we love you too, Katie. Uh, like, I'm stunned that I've got into a full-fledged business course. You better believe it. Uh, business course, it's never going to end. Um, that's without question. Um, we have a couple. Yeah, of thank you, Katie. You're yeah. awesome. We have a couple of people that, that were asking on Instagram. Um, one that says he does, you know, heavy plaster work. Can we help? Uh, yes, those are those are no fun to ship. That's for sure. But you got to market same as everyone else does. Um, in terms in terms of performance art, someone left like a, a comment about that. Not really our jam, um, but the marketing is, I suppose, the marketing. So that's on that. Um, and then I would just say as a final, before we get into our main topic, we are streaming on a Saturday morning. Why? Because we're testing brand new streaming software. Why? Because we've got to figure it out and we've got to master it so we can teach all of our customers because we think these virtual art shows, why is that thing in my face? These virtual art shows are, they're just going to be a big deal. They're going to be, a yeah. big deal. they're going to be the future of, of how yeah. art unfolds. Yep. And you know, the, and, and before we get into it again too, the thing that I, you know, where I was going with the, uh, with the yesterday's like uh where the like having all of the customers talking and how high quality the art storefronts membership is is the phrase that you and i talk about all the time which is so true right you're the average of the five people that are that that you surround yourself with you know the most you are the average of the five people you surround yourself with the most in your life right and so just think about it just think about who the how high quality of people mentors and all that stuff are that you're working with in your business life, like that you're discussing business with, who are they? Who, who are they? Right? Because what, who, whatever the top of that is like the, 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 the most successful person at that top five, that's your, that's your upper limit. That's your ceiling. Right. And I think that'll resonate. That should resonate with a lot of you out there because you know, you, you might look at you're like, how do I get to the next level? How do I get to the next level? And I just want you to think about that. Right. So, who, 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 where are you getting advice from? Um, who are your mentors? Who are you surrounding yourself with? 
and make sure that you surround yourself with really high quality people. It's one of the topics that I talked about yesterday. You look know, at, look at Katie's comment, Katie, if they're, if they're negative energy, if they're not going anywhere, if they're not motivating you to take a, take the next step up, you're probably not kidding. Sadly. Yeah. I, Kate, Katie, I have, I have spent my last 20 years pruning, you know, friends, family, you know, business people, bi bad business partners or people like I have spent my last 20 years pruning all around just to limit the noise and to be able to focus and to execute at, at the highest level that I possibly can, right? And there's really no end to that. Like you, you always want to try to keep leveling up if you can. But anyways, that, like that's what I think the profound thing is about it is, is like as an Art Storefronts member, you literally like solve that problem. Like how amazing is that? You know, like you go from like operating alone on an island like, in, like, I don't know what your inputs are. I don't know what you're reading. I don't know what's going on. And we see that when we hear the questions from non-members, right? So many misconceptions, so much BS is being put in people's minds in this industry, but also outside just as business people or entrepreneurs in general, you've got to bat it away. Like it's poison. There's so much poison there. And to be able to, you know, uh, become a part of a, of a group of people and surround yourself with higher quality thinkers you know, people who have, are more successful than you literally at your fingertips, like that is so profound. I don't even know how to put it into words. Yeah, there's no question about that. And, you know, I, I mean, I love that. I mean, I used, I used that line, you're the average of your five best friends. You know, my, my dad died and my sister um, got married recently. And so I had to do like, you know, the speech giving. And I went on my brother-in-law's bachelor party, okay? And typical millennial, do you know what he called this thing? called it a nuptial retreat okay. <laughs> so that aside that is aside, that a politically correct like way of saying bachelor party i, I don't i don't okay i have like the vest there we got like a like a pat gucci vest out of this deal that said like pat i'm not going to use his name but, <laughs> but let's forget about the nuptial retreat the reality <laughs> is though he had some very very impressive friends like extremely impressive friends and you know how much did that put me at ease you're the average of the, you're, you're you're the average of the five you spend time with but independent of that, before we get into our rant, um, if we have an existing website, can we connect the existing website with, with ours? Yes, you can. Um, if you request a demo, our, our, our sales people can kind of explain that. If you have a blog or you have something else going on. Um, exactly. You don't, you don't often want to do that because you want people as close to the buying experience as possible, but that's, that's a rant for another day. Yeah, so, but you're yeah. still good to go. Some people choose to do that. It's fine. Yeah. So we should say... So Nick and I were thinking we 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 had this call with customers and non-customers yesterday, and you know, and just talking to a bunch of people on the lives. Um, you put a post in the group, so we're obviously going to go on a much deeper dive of this. But we're sort of talking about you know self-limiting beliefs, if you will, or even self-sabotage, if you will, or you know, I always use the analogy of going up to the restaurant, looking in the window, and saying, "Oh no, 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 that food's probably not good," and then leaving, never even trying it, never giving it a shot, never even knowing, right? Um, and then going to the next restaurant and going to the next restaurant and going to the next restaurant you just didn't eat because you're too scared to go into the door. Um, what was the most profound out of that bunch for you yesterday? Well, I mean, it's, there's a lot that I could talk about that because I've literally spent my whole life dealing with this stuff, right? Like most people, Everybody. like, yeah. And, and, uh, I like it's taken a 20 year entrepreneurship career you know, to really understand that, you know, you are your worst enemy and you like the thoughts, the, the quality of your thinking is impacting what you do, right? Cause like whatever you think, right? Whatever you think turns into actions, right? So if you think that art has not sold online for the last 10 years, you took actions, right? You never got a website or you got a portfolio site, right? You never did any digital marketing. You never learned anything. You never cared about it, you know, and all of that stuff. And, um, and so where, and, and that has left you with some certain consequences right now. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a really big thing. This is what happens when we're in the pandemic. Pat's got kids knocking on the door. We do what we do what we have to do during the pandemic. 
Yeah. I was waiting for you because I know I know you I know you had the kids coming in there. But anyways, where I what where I yeah, I know I'm talking to everybody out there. I'm waiting for you to come back a little bit. But but uh, you know, the point is that you have like the quality of your thinking is going to determine your future. It's actually the most important thing. And so when you watch these Zoom calls that we're having with people, you will see I will challenge people's thinking. And you will too, right? Because I know that it's the number one thing that's been literally causing them to fail for like 10 years. And it's like, if I, if I, can, if I can remove that one thing, and it's as easy as plucking it out of their mind and challenging them. So there was somebody, there was a, a gal that came in pretty hot, right? And she was like, I'm gonna be a little snarky, you know? And you and I are like, perfect. I can't wait to see where this goes, right? Yeah, and, and, and yeah, and she, you know, the first, the first thing that she said was, um, was that she's like, I really don't like how you guys call, use the phrase photographers and artists. We're just totally hot about it, right? And we see this on our Facebook comments. And it's like, you know, right there, something that can just drive people mad. Like what, how that could drive somebody mad is beyond me. But to, to, but to, to make it clear, we 1000% believe that photographers are artists. Like I've been in the art industry for 20 years, right? I love photographers, they are artists. End of story, end of story, end of story. The reason we do it is because as a marketing, like as marketers, when we just put artists on our ads or in our emails or things like that, almost every photographer on there is like, oh, it looks like you guys don't work with photographers. I'm out, right? So whether you knew it or not, there's a lot of people who are photographers who don't self-identify yet as artists. They think they're a photographer and they think that you're not speaking to them and you're kind of disrespecting them. And half of the art, the art storefronts members are photographers and half are painters, right? Roughly, right? Like there's a probably a 10% in there of sculptors and you know, some other things, but, but like, that's why we did it. But that person literally like had a, like, like was like angry at us for this, for like no reason. Right. And that's a, that's a reason to be like, Oh, I'm not going to listen to another thing. I'm out. Right. So then, so I, so I covered that. And then the next, the next question was, you know, I love my existing website, right? I love it. It's beautiful. Can I just use that and sign up and, and get the marketing advice? Right. And so I just stopped. I, I just said, I stopped right there. I said, so how much do you sell a year? And she said, I sell $1,500 a year, you know, for the last couple, all, all I sell is $1,500 a year. And I said, well, then your website doesn't matter. You know, she said, well, well, I love it. I'm like, well, look, I'll just tell you, we're all about results here. Like if you want to stick with your $1,500 website that you think is beautiful, then stick with that and just go on your way and, and continue with that business because we're all about reality here and results. When I hear somebody's only selling $1,500 a year, that to me is a problem. Okay. Like, especially when the person says that they've been winning ex exhibitions and awards that they've been entering. Right. And you're like, I have people, I have people on our storefronts. We have members who haven't won anything. And haven't done anything and they're selling ten thousand dollars a year as stay-at-home moms and dads right so i don't i i if i had a dollar for every person that um that said they were amazing 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 i just i just don't care you know the reality is what is your business doing and let's get let's just forget all the all the fluff let's just get to brass tacks what is your business doing and do you want to make it better because if you do maybe like you know open up your mind a little bit Let's challenge your way of thinking a little bit. Let's see if we can make an improvement because if you simply remove those things, they're actually the biggest things in the way of that person succeeding. And no matter what, if we give them the most perfect marketing plan that we have, Pat, it's not gonna work for them. I already know it, so I won't sign them up. I will not allow them to join because it'll be a waste of our time. Yeah, and, and, and it sounds like we're picking on this gal from yesterday and, and we're totally not, but this is it's a microcosm of the whole industry. This is something that we hear all the time. What's like, you know, and, and let me give it to you in like three or four different flavors. So her line was, my website is beautiful. I've won numerous awards and received a ton of praise, right? Or someone else saying, you know, I posted on Facebook and I boosted the post and this thing got like 1800 likes and comments and or, you know, the same thing on Instagram. And the, the first thing I say, number one, and all those situations is like, that is fantastic. That, that's amazing. Tell you what, go drive down to the ATM machine and let me know where on that ATM machine the button is that says, I've won a ton of awards. I got a ton of likes. I got a ton of comments and I got a ton of shares. 
And if you can push that button and it pushes out cash for you to live your life on, it's nothing. It is a vanity metric. It's worthless. It means nothing. The reality is the reality, right? Like none of that crap matters. If you want to build a business, you need to focus on the sales and you need to be optimizing towards sales and getting sales. And guess what? The market is the market. Another trope of it is I know my work will sell. Everyone tells me all the time it's amazing, right? I know my work is great. Guess what? Until you tried and until you sold your work to people that are not related to you or your best friends that would lay down in traffic for you, then whatever you're selling is not working or you've never tried, right? Like you have to get past those things if you're going to make any progress whatsoever. Yeah. Do you, do you know what's, do you know what's, do you know what's ironic about all of this that I was thinking about this morning? Like, you know how like discounting devalues your work. Like we totally dealt with that yesterday on the zoom call, right? Um, art doesn't sell online. Like all, like all, all of these different things, you know, what's so fascinating about that is that all of those things help art storefronts artists, right? It's like, dude, yeah, I, I, I can't remember which movie it is. It's, I think it's, the, it's something with Will Ferrell with Talladega Nights where he's like more for you and me, more for you and me. Right. But like, just think about this, all of, you, 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 you mix it up. It's, it's wedding crashers. Oh, is it wedding crashers? Okay. All right. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, you're right. It's the, uh, whatever that guy's name is. I forget. Uh, Chaz, Chaz, right? <laughs> so, so anyways, but if you see what I'm saying here on this, right? Like all of the, all of the people that have bought these lives and believe in them and have not sold online for the last 10 years and never got set up and, you know, fall for the discounting thing or, you know, the generic website thing. All that is, Pat, is less competition in the market. Like, think about that, right? It's like those people, like, it's just amazing to me how little of competition there actually is, like real competition in the art game. There is almost none. Like there are these misconceptions are killing everybody. And there's this, the only people that are actually past it are so few and far between that like you're literally competing against no one, right? Because like you're, you're, you're selling originals. The other person is so hung up on discounting and like art doesn't sell online that they don't even have a website and they're never discounted. They don't even get how the whole thing works, right? And so they're not even in the game. They're not even in the game. Nobody's seeing their stuff. They're not winning anything. They're getting beat by the people who are executing and are actually getting, I'm getting back to this, right? They're doing the things that the most successful people are doing, right? Like, so when we were talking on the call yesterday, I had said, where are you getting this information, you guys? Like, where are people getting this? You have to really ask yourself because every single uh, pr uh, photographer and artist on our platform that is selling hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, every one of them is discounting strategically. Yep. Every one of them. So that is empirical evidence right there and that you will be working with these members when you are a member they will tell you this it is fact 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 so what information what facts do you have to support the conclusion that is driving the actions of what you're executing on in your business and is determining your future yeah louis louis vuitton it's louis vuitton and maybe some two or three other brands that don't discount that's it everyone else discounts okay yeah but, anyways like I, I get fired up on these things yeah. The more expensive the piece, the more the discounting takes place. Yep, exactly. And, and, you know, I get fired up on these things, but, you know, I, I really hope that, um, because, you know, some people like they're, you know, they're very stubborn, they're very stuck in their ways and they haven't had somebody just tell it to them straight. Somebody who has a 20 years experience in this industry, who's done it, who's seen it, who's been advising, you know, we've been advising 3000 photographers and artists running their businesses for the last seven years, you know, or so. And, and it's like the amount of experience, real, like real, like real world sales, you know, in the trenches where the bullets are flying, like real information, real data, not just theory, not somebody randomly doing a podcast and telling you, Hey, I think you should do this. Right. Like yeah. we have that data and it's like, it, it can help so many people to like, who are listening to this to, to like, just, you know, listen to it and take it in. You don't have to believe it yet. But, but analyze your quality of your thinking and where you're getting your information from and your data and, and see whether you're at, you actually have like a thought process that is built on rock and not sand because you very well, I mean, I'm telling you, 99% of the people that we talk to, a part of it at least is on sand, you know, like at least like one part, one misconception, you know, and, and, and they come in various forms. They come in 50 different forms. 
I, uh, you know, I, I love the boat analogy, right? And it's like, we talk about all these various different tropes and self-limiting beliefs, whether it's, you know, art is a commodity, art is not selling online. I'm never going to discount. Uh, if my website was just pretty enough, um, I would start getting the sales. If I just had enough photos, uh, some high resolution photos of my art, I'd be able to launch my website, right? Um, all of those things, it's like your boat is sitting right by the water in the boat yard about to be built. You ever see those videos on Google where they like pull the thing and the boat slides down the ramp and into the water and puts like a big splash everywhere? Yes. <laughs> I love so that. That's that's the analogy, right? Like you're in that boat, the hull is built and you don't even know whether it's going to float. You don't know whether it's going to slide down that ramp, hit that water and sink down to the bottom, in which case time to pivot, or it floats, in which case start working on your boat as it's sailing down the river, right? And instead, everyone's inside with those self-limiting beliefs saying, I just got to sand the decks again, and I just got to put new curtains in the galley and replace the head and maybe get some new varnish on and maybe change the curtains over there or whatever else. Meanwhile, your boat's not in the water and you don't yeah. know the float. It's like, yeah. get, get out of your own way. And it's, it's so hard. It's so hard for so many people to do. You know, you know what the irony is, Pat, about like becoming more successful, like in your own business mm. is it's more about like, it's more about like less, you know, like less is more. It's more about like removing things than adding. Like that is one of the most profound things that I've learned in my career, like mainly in the last two to three years, you know, it's, it's not about, you know, one other book or one other tactic or one other, you know what I mean? Or one of these things that you add on, like the layers of adding things on, it's more about remo the removal of things that already exist in your mind that are, that are limiting you. You know what I mean? Like all, like all, it, it, it's, 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 it's a really deep concept, but it is the absolute truth. You know, it's, it's your personal limitations, your mental limitations are the biggest thing impeding you from, from being more successful. It's not like one new painting you know, that you haven't made yet or one share from like National Geographic or something like that. You know, it's, it's your, it's how it's your, the quality of your thinking and what layers you have on you and removing it all. So you can see clearly and, um, and making sure that, that as you execute the next 10 years of your life, that you don't waste time. You, you want to make sure that the quality of your thinking is as high as possible because that alone is what's going to make the biggest difference in your trajectory. Yeah, there's no question about that. Is that not is that not just the, like the most truth of the whole thing? Right, that is the abstraction of the abstraction. Right, like it's not one, it's not following one calendar or one tactic. Even it's like you know, it's the quality of your thinking as you execute day to day for the next ten years. That is the abstraction that's going to change the trajectory of your business and your life. Yeah, so you're gonna do you're gonna do a big Zoom call on this coming up, right? I am. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm thinking that's gonna be on that's gonna be next Friday. It's about entrepreneurs' mindset. Um, yeah, I think I'm 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 gonna probably do it on Friday on the supplemental day. Yep. So supplemental day. <laughs> Only day left in the week where we're not doing a live. Um, yeah. Well, uh, to to explain to everybody who's not a member, we do we do workshops for art that are private for art storefronts members every Tuesday and Thursday. Actually, there's a Wednesday one as well, which is for new members for like just launch where they could get like website audits and um, they, they get their marketing kicked off. Yep. Um, but the ones on Tuesday and Thursday are strategic high level business and marketing consulting with Pat and I, um, you know, and we go over what everybody's working on right now, what they're supposed to be working on. And, um, and then always just larger strategic questions to, uh, to improve again, the quality of thinking of the entire group, right? It's like a business school. That's why you, that's why it's not surprising that we see 80% of the people there. They're not ready to raise their hands yet. I mean, we get members, you know, it's, it's, it's so interesting. We get members who give us feedback. Um, like it comes back to Emily, like who's our support manager and, and stuff like that. And they say, you know what? These workshops are unbelievable. I thought I came in having questions, but I realized I don't even know the right questions to ask now. And so I'm just listening because like my whole paradigm has changed, you know, and that is just incredible. Like that to me is a huge joy. I want to test the software. I mean, at a certain point here, we should have, we should have Kim and Katie just get on. <laughs> Kim right, and Katie are members. They're, they're on this. I'm like, you guys should just hop on with us.
Oh, good. Okay. I'm going to, I'm just going to share. Is there a way to make that happen? Let's just, let's just try it. Let's ship it. Yep. Yep. So Kit, so for those of you who are watching, uh, Kim and Katie are both art storefronts members. So you can hear from them again right now. Like actually they weren't on the call yesterday, but we'll bring them on. Let's see if it works. It really makes it like some sort of like a video call in show, you know, it is kind of, yeah. Um, but I love, I love how people who, I love who I love that people who don't. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. delay. yeah, Kim, you just have to you just have to click the link and then it'll pull you in. Um, or Katie, click the link and it should pull you in. Um, that's that I put in the comments up there. Um, yeah. How fascinating was that one guy selling two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, and all of a sudden the gallery show rug pulled out. From I, I I I feel for that. I feel for that. I think his name was Andy. You say he's coming on board too. I oh, he'll come on board. He'll, Work. He'll come on. Oh yeah, for sure. And I feel so much. I feel so much for Andy, and I want Andy on board so bad because it's like you just you you feel for his situation, and it's like this is exactly what art storefronts was created for, right? Like you cannot you cannot build a successful future. You know, I said earlier, like I gave the reference on Rocker on Sand. Oh hey Kim. Really good. I don't know if we have your audio yet, Kim. Yeah, Kim, you're you're. Yeah, your you audio is not coming through. An audio thing, I don't know. Or talk again, let's see if we can hear you. I'm here, can you hear me? Yeah, she's got audio issues. You're on, you still can't hear the microphone. Oh guys, yeah. send me there, some money. There's gonna be an sure audio setting problem, Kim, that like, will turn your mic on. We've got your video, but not your mic. You got my mic on? It's so cool to be able to just bring somebody in like this. Oh, no, oh, yeah, then you muted yourself. So whatever audio source you have selected, Kim, is your mic is just the wrong one. I didn't know I selected one. Well, you play around with it in the meantime. We'll just. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll keep talking. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, fine. Katie, Katie's, Katie's going to come in. We'll, we'll see if we can get her. Wait, Kim tries to figure it out. We'll be able to just bring somebody in. Oh, we got the toddler. <laughs> so, whatever audio source you have selected, Kim. All your art sales. The wrong one. What is <laughs> Mark is telling you? Yeah, what is your we'll niche? Play around with it in the meantime. Oh wow, yeah. Katie, Katie! I don't think we have audio on her either. Uh, Katie, we can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. What are okay. problems? Okay. Fine. What is it? Katie, Katie, Katie's gonna come in. We'll, can we we'll do have audio? Ah, that's what it is. Oh, we got Yeah, if you want to follow this, guys, hop over to Facebook. Yeah. What is your name? Oh, yeah. Katie, I don't think we have audio on her either. Katie, we can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. What are problems? I can hear you guys now. Matt, I'm getting some feedback on you. I'm lagging. Oh, I know. One of the two of them is watching the stream. So I'm going to mute Katie and let's see Kim. All right. Can we hear you now, Kim? Can you hear me now? Yes. You did it. <laughs> how, is, uh, how is the mayor, first of all? Oh, the mayor is out fishing because we took off to go to Florida because now Florida is open. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, so you're the mayor sorry, of the but, city in the middle of the pandemic, Kim? He's out. I don't know what happened to the Florida people. They quit. They quit on the beach. Can you see beach? Oh yeah. Look pretty. at this baby. Woo! That's pretty. And if you Very look cool. really hard at that white shirt out on the beach, that's the mayor. <laughs> I love it. He's Kim, fishing yep. Kim's married to the mayor. All right. So to my, to heck with him. Yeah. Can I with him? We're good. Yep. What, and are you working with marketing at all this weekend? Are you painting? What are you doing? Oh, well, actually, if you really want to know, I'm adding up all the money I made off of my Mother's Day paintings. Awesome. I'm doing my bookkeeping. And tell, and, and oh, I know. Tell, people, tell people what you did for that one. Okay. Uh, three weeks ago on Friday, I listened to your live, and mm -hmm. you guys, all right. Let me let me make sure you understand. You give good advice all the time, but I just don't always listen to you. Okay. So finally, three weeks ago on the live, you said you're crazy if you're not doing anything for Mother's Day, and I went, oh shit. Okay, fine. I'll do something for Mother's Day. So right after the live, I got on, did an IGTV that said, "Don't send your mom flowers. Let me paint them a flower." Okay. Oh, and nice. I put them on, and within an hour, I got three orders at. And they were doing the 20% off. And I went, oh, God, I put them too cheap. So I went in, raised the price, and the orders kept coming in. 
I made my discount 10% instead of 20. The order still came in. I raised the price again. They still came in. And in 14 days, I had 49 orders and wow. made about 3,500 bucks wow. and painted my life away doing flowers ad nauseum. Yeah. And, uh, but okay. But it's, to me, it's fine. I have a friend who's an opera singer in new Orleans and she's out singing happy birthday things at $300 a pop. So even though you might think that a business person who's an artist is an art whore, but they're not, <laughs> they are strong in business. I can only and, imagine. Yeah. I can only imagine how long it took to paint all those, but huge congrats on that. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Consider, uh, yeah. Consider I'm 68. So, okay. 68? You, you don't look day over 40. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> this is what 68 looks like. Come on. Uh, it looks good. It looks good. Um, okay. I'm going to I'm gonna kick you guys both off because I just want to test the software. I love you. Both have a good Saturday. So. Okay. Love you too, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye. Hey, did you get my book? No. Did you get a book, Nick? No. Oh, God. Come on. I sent you my oh, book. You, but, but if you sent it, you probably sent it to the office. Together. You haven't been back to the office yet. I sent it to Austin. No, I sent it to Emily. Emily has your three cop your two copies. Okay. And Patrick, Perfect. I sent yours directly to you. Okay. When I sent yours directly to you. You sent it recently? That or was like two, no, two months ago. Oh no, I definitely did not get it. I, let me go ask my wife. All right. But I'll read it once okay. I get it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. bye guys. Bye. Not bad, pretty seamless. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't yeah. I don't think it's as quality as Zoom, but in just grabbing one person right out of the feed, I think I think it's actually kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, okay. What else do you got? I have to get in the car and drive an hour. Come on. Um, that's pretty much all. I think we could leave it there on a Saturday. Uh, and so, so for anybody who who just came on, I think the best thing for any non art storefronts uh, customer to do is watch our Facebook Live from yesterday, where we actually brought art storefronts members on to talk to non art storefronts members, and it wasn't rigged. You'll have to believe it, uh, see it to believe it. Um, a lot of great questions were answered. And then on Tuesday. You just uh, say it wasn't rigged. It wasn't rigged. It wasn't, <laughs> you know, like, I mean, it's just. We're not above rigging. But this time we do. We do. I, think you have to, I think you have to say it because that people just don't even believe it, right? Like, I mean, when I posted that in the private group, Ron Olcott, who actually came on the uh, live, he's like, uh, he's like, man, you are brave. Like. You just can't even believe that a that a company like a CEO would just be like, "Hey, hey, hey, customers! Like, anybody want to hop on and just do this? Like, whatever happens, happens, right? What? Like, I'm not afraid of what the public will see because I really believe in what we're doing. You know, I really believe in it, and and I think that the right people will will see it. We will attract the right people. So, anyways, if you just go to our Facebook account, um, and which you're on right now, okay. and uh, and just scroll down our feed. You will see the one from yesterday and you'll see the one from Tuesday. The one from Tuesday was different. It was phenomenal because Reed, another art storefronts team member, ran a demo, a short demo and showed some inside stuff and, and answered some pr detailed pricing questions on there. So um, so you can watch that. And I think if you watch those, you're gonna really, you're gonna, you're gonna gain a lot of value um, from the conversations that we had with non-art storefronts members and just the way that you and, uh, uh, hold, on, hold down our feed, you will see the one. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to, some audio. I'm trying to pin the comment, um, so that no one has to go anywhere. Oh, okay. So you're putting it in the comments, like the link in the comments. No, I just pinned it. So it's the pinned comment, which cool. is. Yeah. So Carol it. said, we'll watch today. Good, good, Carol. Thank you. Um, yeah, so that's the best thing to do. And then. If you're interested in joining Art Storefronts, uh, request a demo. Um, it is uh, on our website. It's always in the upper right-hand corner. There's a big request a demo button. Just click that, fill it out, and somebody will get back to you, and you'll get in the queue. We are running a very big discount right now in May, but spots are filling up very fast. They got taken last time. We couldn't even really deal with anybody who put in a demo in the last week of the month. So I would say if you're interested, get it in now and get in the queue so that you can reserve a, a spot for a demo. Um, and, uh, but the first thing is a discovery call. So have that first, make sure it's a good fit for you. We want to make sure it's a good fit as well. Um, so that, uh, we're, we're only signing up the right people. Um, this is just so fascinating. I just love this whole streaming game and how quickly it goes. So I'm getting the, I'm, I'm able to see the comments on here too, which is great. Yeah. So uh, Dina, the IG live went away. Hey, cool butterfly work there, Dina. 
um, trying to access Facebook Live, but it says the address is invalid. How can I view? Just by the very nature that you're leaving the comment, you should be on it. Um, so you should probably just be able to refresh or do whatever, um, and, and, and you'll be able to see it. But Great work, though, by the way. Great yeah. work. That yeah. butterfly. That thing's popping. That's a good yeah. uh, beauty. A good color. Uh, we never said Great. hi to Gretchen. Hi, Gretchen. Gretchen, how you doing? Gretchen's an art store reference member. Isn't this cool, though? Um, Very Gretchen, cool. The software allows us to stream to Facebook, to YouTube, to Twitter, and to LinkedIn all at the same time, uh, which is pretty cool. Greg Weaver, what advice do you have for a lazy painter? I think I fit that description, LOL. Stop oh, goodness, Stop where do I even begin? Yeah. Um, really, Greg, the answer is, what are you looking to do? That's what I would ask you first. Like, what are you looking to do with your art, with your career? What, what, what sort of, what is success to you? That's a great question, right? How do you define success? Like, you know, give me the monetary number, and the non-monetary number, right? I think we start there and then I'll tell you what the reality is, you know, and you may choose to either want to do it or not. Yep. And by the way, Greg, you could hop on one of the next live Zoom calls that Patrick and I do with non-art storefronts members. You know, we will we will surely do one next week, probably on Wednesday. Um, and uh, we'll chat with you. We'll, we'll chat with you about it if you want to. Um, okay, I can hear your kids howling. Look at Gretchen. Look yeah. at the, look at the last one. Look at the last comment right there. I love this. Getting ready to go live at twelve thirty to show the upload to print. Boom. No, nobody even knows what this is, right? Um, so I'll explain the feature real quick. We released a feature for the art storefronts uh, members, which is the ability for your consumers on your site to upload their own photos. Okay. Um, and the, and the, and the, the software analyzes the quality of the file. We already have this technology obviously, because you know, our, our, our members need to upload their own files and they can crop it on the fly and they can select the media type and check out and buy their own canvas print, metal print, you know, whatever media types that you want to offer, um, so that you can actually sell, you know, printing services, um, based on your expertise. And I know that might sound like totally like, whoa, I've never even thought of that, but it's a longer conversation, but the big deal is, is that we believe in, you know, utilizing it or leveraging as many revenue sources as you possibly can. We believe in leveraging your expertise as an artist. You may not even realize it, but you have it. Like you've spent your career and your time and all this stuff learning about printing companies and media types and art and what is quality and what is not. And, you know, we were just showing this last week. I'm sure this is why Gretchen is doing it. We were showing on Tuesday how um, one of our members, um, you know, just got a random order uh, on, in her Mother's Day sale for an upload to print, you know, item. And it was so, I thought it was so fascinating. That's why we showed this one specifically because she's, she paints Italian scenes. Her name's Kimberly Camerata, right? She paints Italian uh, like scenes, like watercolors. Um, and so her audience is obviously people who live in Italy, love Italy, traveled to Italy, got married in Italy, like all those types of people. And one of the one of the one of the one of her customers uploaded a photo of, of their vacation in Italy, right? And bought a $232 canvas print, you know? And so I I just there's there's nothing more that I love about that because it's like, you know, you have your audience that loves you know, that's connected with you for your specific subject matter, which was the case for her. And then the actual thing that they uploaded wasn't really a family photo. It was a photo that they took on vacation of, of like Venice, like it was a scene in Venice. And how perfect is that, right? Yep. They own a piece of her, like they'll buy a piece of her art, you know, and they buy in, uh, you know, their own photo and it's all on, you know, the high quality material that Kimberly offers on her site. And, you know, anybody that's buying art is going to want something better than a Costco print. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't hang a Costco print that's going to yellow and fade in two years next to, uh, you know, a fine art piece that you buy, right? It doesn't make sense. It's cognitively wrong. And so people would rather pay a little bit more money to have at least decent quality. Like somebody who's going to buy like a hundred dollar canvas gallery wrap is, is, you know, that, that is actually an art consumer is more than willing to pay $150 to actually have the right quality, you know? And the artist and photographer can actually leverage that. And I think it's amazing. I think the other thing that's emerging too, Pat, with this upload to print tool is 
is there are a lot of photographers and artists on our platform whose following primarily consists of other photographers and artists. Look Katie was actually one of them. Look at the comment. I have an audience full of artists. So, you know, it's like everybody does. Exactly. You think about, yeah. And so you can offer, Katie, should la you should launch that and you should offer your uh, audience, you know, uh, a special, we talked about it already uh, on, on the last workshop, but you should get that going right away. Like it's a reason, you know, to, um, to keep following you and be a part of your community, like your audience. So, you know, while you're, while you're growing your own art business and trying to sell your own art, like you also are leveraging, like, you know, the, the value that you're adding already to other artists because they're asking to follow you, like they want to follow you. And so the more that you can do and like, how great is that, that you can actually provide them with a service and like give them maybe a better deal than they normally would otherwise get or better service than they would otherwise get on their prints. Doesn't that make a lot of sense? Yep, it does. She's gonna get working on it today, Katie. Yeah, it's so fast, Katie. Like, the, we, there's a feature on there. If you follow the tutorial, there's a button on there that says like automatically set up everything for me or something of that nature. And it's literally the setup that I recommend personally with all the markups and all the pricing. So you can launch it and you don't even need to worry about it and you don't need to research pricing. I did all of that for you on all the different media types to set you up so that you can launch it and go. And then as you start selling and making prints, or, I mean, uh, making sales, uh, you can adjust the pricing as you see fit. But I want everybody who, who, who believes that, you know, they have a market for this to just launch it quickly, you know, and just make it a part of their offering. Carol's asking, you can see. Yeah, what is the commission rate when someone sells orders of a print on, on of their own art on your site? We don't sell your art for you. We are not an online gallery, Carol. He's asking, what's a commission? Yeah, yeah that's it. We don't have a commission. We have, we have a transaction fee when you sell on your own site. It's like a bandwidth fee, right? But it's not a commission. I don't want to confuse it with that, right? Commissions are like what galleries do where they take 40 or 50%. But read again on Tuesday, he went over that on the Facebook Live in detail. Um, and the, if you wanna see like all the detail, it's best to request a demo because I, I mean like the, the feature list of what we offer as an all-in-one solution is uh, uh, you know, a very lengthy list. So it's good to kind of go over that in a screen share with details. That's a really good question. Is the upload of print available to self-fulfillment artists? Um, not yet, but it will be. It will be, okay. Yes. Okay. It will be very soon. We just, the only reason we didn't launch it for self-fulfillment artists yet is because the setup is a little more intense for you guys because you're creating your own media types and you have to do all of that. Whereas with the auto fulfillment, like you don't have to do anything. Like it's just, Katie can literally launch it in like five minutes if she wants to. How long it took to set up this, the streaming software? Good? Yeah, all good. So we'll leave it there. Everybody have a fantastic Saturday. Uh, appreciate you guys spending some time with us. Appreciate you for your intention. And uh, get marketing. Get marketing. Yep. We will see you next time.